Hello, this is TJ Roberts Decorating, and these are some paint strainers which are available from a uh, well-known online store. Uh, so I've, I've had these probably about what, about a month or so now, and I've been using them. I did have three, and I've lost the biggest one, and I don't know where it's gone. So it's not in my van, <clears throat> and I've been looking for it in the shed. If I do find it after I've done this video, I will... Uh, Put a little bit extra on on this video at the end but these two are probably the main ones anyway <coughs> because the bigger the bigger the bigger one is too big for the five liter tin so this is a five liter tin and it just fits in perfect in there uh, so the bigger one doesn't fit in there but it's too uh, it's not big enough for the 10 liter tins but these are great for uh, five litre tins, two and a half litre tins, your kettles and scuttles and stuff like that. So that will fit perfect in there. And there's some paint in there, which is going to be going in there. But I can't put that in, in because it's going to touch the bottom of that paint. So what I'm going to do, I've got a paint kettle with a, la with a liner in it. And I'm going to strain basically the paint from there into here. Uh, before pouring it into there, back into that bigger tin. Also, if you've got these type of uh, scuttles or pelicans, I know this is the Purdy one, but Woos to do one as well. You can fit like the smaller ones in there if you want. Pour your paint in so you know you've got all your bits. And if there's any bits in your paint, they're all out. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour. Let's paint in. And what I may have to do is come cut the video and come back to it uh, when it's filtered through. But we're gonna get basically we'll get all the paint out of here, out of that tin. Uh, just so you can sort of see it's all filtering down and we'll see if there's any bits in in, in the filter at the end there might be a few little bits there might not be anything in there but we'll uh, once it's filtered through I'll uh, we'll catch back up so here we are it's filtered through and as you can see there's quite a lot of bits in there which is uh, the filter has stopped so normally you wouldn't pour, you know, your leftover paint, what were in this, this five litre tin into one what's nearly new. Because uh, you could contaminate it with basically bits and, and, and muck. But obviously if you use these filters, you can filter out all the rubbish, which would normally go into there. Uh, uh, before, pour, you know, it's filtered it out so you can pour that, paint now in it you know it's clean and if you want again when you you come to using the this paint you can put the filter back over pour it into your kettle and basically go you know that way around it really uh, just to double check that there's no bits in it so yeah I'd highly recommend these uh, little filters like I said these are third one and I can't find it I've just been looking again now I've been waiting for this to filter out but uh, I don't know what I've done with it, and I could do with a bigger one just to, just because I've got some emotion to uh, just drain out as well. Anyway, uh, these filters really good, easy to have, uh, as long as you don't lose them. Right, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.